we've recently discovered that the Spectrum DX4E and DX5E are uh, use an Atmel microcontroller inside. And the obvious thing for us to do was to uh, poke around with that and see what we could get it to do. Uh, what we've ended up doing is completely rewriting some new f firmware for the Spectrum DX4E, which gives it a few extra features that might be useful. The main change is that the this switch and these switches no longer do what they, they used to do. Uh, this switch and four of these switches can be mixed into channels 5 and 6, giving you effectively another five digital channels. Um, we will be supporting that on the D, uh, on the R10 and the Thalamus flight controller. Um, you could probably also support that on other um, flight controllers as well. Um, so to enable that, simply flip the mix switch on. This LED comes on telling you that it's now mixing the switch information into channels 5 and 6. And uh, everything else works as, as usual. Um, this LED here is the battery status LED. It flashes um, at you and um, the faster it flashes the lower the, the LED, uh, the, the power. Um, if the power runs too low it will actually start beeping at you and um, I'm just putting in an older battery, uh, alert, uh, battery with lower charge to demonstrate that. For uh, those who don't like the beeps, you can mute everything using this switch. So now that's muted, it, it now no, no longer beeps. Um, everything else is the same. The bind procedure is the same. Um, this LED pulses to show you that it's in bind mode. Um, range check is the same. You hold this and flick this four times. Um, I haven't yet implemented the trainer modes, but um, I should do so by the time we release the, uh, the firmware. Just plug that in, that's in trainer mode, and that LED shows that uh, that's in, in trainer mode, and you can use this switch to flick it between um, external control and not. Um, that's about it. Uh, I might add a few other features between now and releasing the firmware, but once it's released, we'll also release instructions of how to reprogram these um, for those who want to do that.